September 10th, 2011. It's the 36th edition of the Toronto International Film Festival, and life for Garth Drabinsky had the illusion of victory and glamour. Following a star-studded lunch, Drabinsky walked the red carpet for the world premiere of his film, Barrymore, starring his lifelong collaborator and loyal friend, Christopher Plummer. In 48 hours, Drabinsky's jovial mood would shift dramatically. After an astonishing 13-year legal odyssey and an extensive career that included the creation of one of the world's largest movie theater chains and a win of 19 Tony Awards on Broadway, Drabinsky was ordered to spend the night in jail. The next morning, the court denied Drabinsky's appeal and upheld his fraud conviction from two years earlier. Drabinsky told his horrified friends and investors that it was just a minor setback and he'd be back in his office later the same day. This time, Drabinsky's luck ran out and he wasn't going anywhere. The court ordered him to prison to begin his sentence immediately. The judge acknowledged Drabinsky and Gottlieb's contribution to the arts in Canada. They employed hundreds in the theater and thousands if you count spin-off jobs. An important part of the sentencing will be the lives and the contributions of these two men. The curtain fell on a saga that would stretch from Hollywood to Broadway. Some called it a Shakespearean tragedy, and others said it was about time.